Um, since I just have a short time here, I want to do three brief questions and a story to connect them all. To make things simpler, uh, the questions are all the same. Is it open? Um, and so our first contender, uh, is it open? Uh, this is the uh, Open Moco Freerider Neo uh, device that would seem to have it all. This was open hardware, well documented, open software, open source. Um, had it all except for the audience and the uptake and the sustainable ecosystem around it. The device only sold about uh, 10,000 units, mostly to developers. And uh, in 2009, it shut down production. Uh, at the time, the wiki, uh, and the wiki still says, uh, for example, the most used distribution, the phone keeps ringing for a second after a call has been accepted. Uh, so never quite made it to uh, fully usable phone status. Uh, so is it open? Sure, it's open technology, but open in the marketplace? Perhaps not. Uh, so contender number two, is it open? Uh, the iPhone. Uh, of course, this is a beautifully designed uh, device. This is. Uh, whether you get it in black or in white, uh, you get a very nice package. Um, but is it open? Well, it's got closed uh, iOS software and uh, closed hardware. On the other hand, it's got an awful lot of devices out in the marketplace, uh, more than a quarter billion uh, iOS devices out there, uh, more than half a million uh, apps in the App Store. Um, but the path to that app store is gated. And uh, as the, uh, the makers of Phone Story found out the other day when they submitted their application, uh, which describes the, uh, and illustrates the costs and the human costs of uh, making smartphones, uh, this app was rejected from uh, the iPhone store. Uh, as the developers quite proudly seem to note uh, on their web page, uh, it's featured in the Android marketplace, but uh, banned from the app store. Uh, now, along with uh, these political artworks, uh, others ranging from uh, the Financial Times uh, has pulled its app because of uh, Apple's various in-app purchasing policies. They just don't fit together. Um, so is it open? Well, it's got lots of use, but um, it's not necessarily uh, open in the sense of accessible to users and developers. Uh, so our third contender, uh, perhaps no surprise at uh, Android Open, uh, will be the uh, Android platform, represented here by uh, the Nexus S, the, the current flagship. Uh, is this device open? Uh, is this package open? Uh, well, we've got uh, some highlights. It's open software. Uh, most of the uh, hardware platforms uh, it runs on are closed. Uh, it's got a, a good market share. It's got multiple application markets, multiple hardware vendors running underneath. And we can build up a picture of the ecosystem with uh, software, hardware underneath. Um, if you want to get Google's marketplace and Google branded applications on top, uh, Google uses the levers of uh, trademark and copyright to require some compatibility from you uh, in order to get those things accepted. But uh, that compatibility helps developers to know what else is out there for them to build too. Uh, which leads to uh, an array of uh, independent applications available, plus uh, a range of alternative builds and marketplaces uh, that are out there. The app, Amazon App Store, uh, CyanogenMod, um, and uh, a range of others. So uh, we've got um, the, the social layer up on top. Google has built uh, a network around these devices. There's plenty of, uh, of usage. Uh, and the all-important carrier layer underneath, because if you can't get your device online, um, it's not going to be so useful for the phone and mobile data platform that you want. Uh, so openness is multidimensional. Um, I think 
Android ranks high, could get, could get higher, of course. Um, and uh, openness is also contingent. Uh, it's contingent not only on the architecture and market features that we've seen, uh, but on the legal framework around the phone. Uh, this here is the diagram you've probably all seen many times before, the smartphone patent wars. Uh, phones are, uh, and the openness they promise is threatened by uh, patent lawsuits, even by those who haven't deliberately copied anything from uh, a patented technology. Uh, network neutrality, the ability to use any application without carriers discriminating based on whether you're using one of their partner uh, applications or uh, an independent. Um, copyright, uh, as carriers and app stores and others are told to be enforcers of copyright, uh, we see apps pulled from the app store sometimes for uh, good reasons, sometimes because they enable access to music uh, and that rubs the recording industry the wrong way. Uh, so, we hear from marketers at times that what you want to build is lock-in and capture of the end user. Um, and I think that's precisely the wrong message. What you want is, uh, for long-term value, you need openness. You need to share with the end user, with the developer, uh, with all of those in the ecosystem. Uh, and I hope those of us in this room uh, will be among that trend promoting and demanding openness. Thank you.